Good evening. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight's topic, why is the liberal establishment afraid of Donald Trump? Why is the liberal establishment afraid of Donald Trump? Very simple answer. You see, the liberals have been getting away with setting the agenda for this country for the last 20 to 50 years. Liberals advocated everything from same-sex marriage to abortion to redistribution of wealth. And at the end of the day, look what liberal policies have done to the country, to the family unit, to the education system. So, what Donald Trump has proposed is he wants to alleviate and downsize government agencies. He wants to spend more money on the military, on infrastructure. He wants more businesses created and to stay here in America. Under liberal policies, jobs left. Also, he wants to secure the border. In 2006, there was legislation passed that the United States could build a wall or fence and use it as security. That's why he is authorizing at least 700 feet of wall to be built. This is not a new law he's making up. This is a law already on the books, and he's advocating utilizing the laws that we have. See, what liberals have professed for the last 50 years was a welfare state. This is what egalitarianism is. You do not survive in that kind of state because nobody gains or nobody loses. But at the end of the day, the people who are producing the most must contribute the most. So if you are an individual who's an able-bodied person who's not working and you're receiving the benefit, well, for you not participating in anything, you're causing harm to this country because you're being taken care of from cradle to grave while the person who is producing something, he's taking care of not only himself but you, but that person is not benefiting off of the fruits of his or her labor. Now, liberals are individuals who utilize theories. If you look at some of your leaders like Pol Pot, Mao Zedong, Castro, Mussolini, Stalin, all of them developed the Marxist type of utopia and they try to ingrain it into their citizens. And what dictators do, they give you an intent that sounds too good to be true. Like, we will promise you a house. We will promise you free college. We will promise you a job. Everything is built off of a promise, and what they're doing, they're catering to your feelings, but controlling you at the same time, and at the end of the day, the result is you're going to get nothing but a poor environment, and this is what went on during the Obama administration. That's why he was labeled the food stamp president. Liberals are afraid of Donald Trump because the media is not going to be able to get out and spit that propaganda out that we're used to hearing. In other words, he's going to call all the alphabet channels, and that includes Fox, if they don't put anything out factual. Again, in his first few days of being president, he signed a few executive orders. He is reinstated for the pipeline to be built, the Keystone Pipeline. The reason why we need the pipeline is... We can be 
dependent on domestic energy, that is our own energy. Therefore, when you produce energy in your own backyard, that's less dependence on foreign oil. In fact, the Middle Eastern countries, they don't like us anyway. And they're always manipulating the prices so we'll pay more or less. I go out every day and I look at the gas prices. One day they're 189, the next day they're 229. Well, if we had our own oil program and we need to strip down all the regulations so we can add to the capacity of our refineries because no refinery has been built or expanded since 1976, so all the oil refineries are overcapacitated because of over-regulation of government utilizing the environment. And when you have groups like the Sierra Club that are trying to write the legislation, the reason why they are utilizing their environmental policies is, again, they don't want new forms of energy. They don't want any type of corporation to own the energy because corporations make money. This is why you have the Sierra Club, you have other radical leftist groups, and they utilize a particular position to really stop something from being built. This is why a lot of the infrastructure, such as highways, weren't able to go through some of the major cities, which would have helped major cities grow by leaps and bounds because every time you put a brand new road in an area, well, you get brand new residents, that's a tax base, you get brand new businesses, that's a tax base. See, liberals don't believe in anything but government subsidies. But if you don't have enough taxpayers to pay for the programs, well, eventually the money for the program is going to run out. Donald Trump is advocating smaller government. Most of us who are working believe smaller government is the answer. I didn't say no government. I said smaller government. And what's happening in Washington, everything is changing by leaps and bounds, and we've never seen it before. So liberals are having all kinds of senseless protests because it's not Hillary Clinton who lost. It's their policies that lost. I mean, we've already had to slap against the family, marriage, business, all of these issues that made America great and prosper after World War II, they were disintegrated during the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and now, and look what you have now. You have people working two jobs. You have individuals who have college degrees and they can't find a job because during the Obama administration, he advocated, well, let's send your kids to college. Well, if you send everybody to college, what happens? Now you have an overabundance of college degrees. But you don't have enough jobs for those college students to work. In fact, a lot of the college degrees that students have are useless degrees. Talk about your humanities type degrees, your gender specific degrees, your general studies degrees. Those aren't very marketable. So what happens when you have a saturation of degrees and not enough jobs? Well, companies are now going to be very picky and they're going to utilize degrees like STEM Science, technology, engineering, and math. You can throw in business, accounting, management information systems, those types of degrees because they're always going to be marketable because they 
require a lot more mathematical skills. Now, Donald Trump also wants to change the health care problem. Now, a lot of us say, well, let's buy health care across state lines, get rid of tort reform, have businesses buy health insurance under a group plan through the Chamber of Commerce, eliminate tort reform, open up free clinics for a non-insured that we pay for anyway. These are just some of the policies that the liberals aren't enjoying right now because they're going to have to work like the rest of us. In order to have a functionable country, everybody's going to have to pull their sleeves up, suit up, and boot up. Because for you liberals out there, with the Woman's March, he's laughing at you. And he's going to continue to laugh at you. Because everything you're doing, if you are a liberal, and when I say liberal, I'm not talking about individuals who believe in liberty. I'm talking about individuals who believe that government should run every aspect of our lives. That's tyranny. You talk about slavery. Well, if you look at all of the countries that are run by dictatorships, they're impoverished. But the people who enjoy all the benefits from hardworking people are your government bureaucrats. Why should a government bureaucrat enjoy the fruits of labor that he or she hasn't done in the first place? Why keep your people poor? And this is why you have a third world country. And Donald Trump does not want the Marxists or the communists or the socialists ideology to occupy this country. This is why he wants to make America great again. And I'm not talking about going back to the days of John or of Jim Crow. It, you know, the funny thing about it, and I'll go back to the African Americans, it's funny. When Jim Crow laws were enacted, African Americans did a lot better. We had a family structure. We were more educated. We invented a lot more of the infrastructure that's used today, like open heart surgery, the elevator, the stoplight. We had our own businesses during the Black Wall Street days. Black people were prospering. In fact, black people had a higher marriage rate than anybody else. Black people made a lot of money. But we don't have Jim Crow laws, and we're working harder for less. And you have more African Americans who are male in jail. They occupy 40% of the inmate population. That's due to liberal policies. Again, Donald Trump said if the city of Chicago doesn't get its act together. I want to take away money from Chicago. Chicago is a sanctuary city. It's going to sit in the feds. Now, you have to understand that our cities, they're meccas for big financial companies. You look at New York. They have their own stock exchange. You look at Chicago but it's too expensive to live in those cities. So, I'm not against liberals per se, but liberals have policies that are based solely on imagination and emotion. This is why their policies will never work. And this is why they don't like Donald Trump. And for the Women's March... They don't like Donald Trump because he's a man. And men, for the most part, have been emasculated by the feminist movement, particularly the third wave of feminism. 
Donald Trump is not that kind of man. And that's why they're upset, because Hillary lost. And yes, are there some of us that don't want a woman president? That is true. But a number of us didn't want Hillary as president, because then we're getting a third term of Bill Clinton. And like I said yesterday in the video, going back to the Women's March, they certainly didn't protest Bill Clinton. And what he did to women, we talk about Jennifer Flowers and other women. And there were a lot of people under the Clintons who ended up dead. But the liberals never protest the Clintons at all. There was no woman's march. But when you live in the ideology of liberal fascism, you don't hurt anybody but yourselves in the long run. Because at the end of the day, there's going to be someone smart enough who's going to rip the rug right from under you. And you're going to fall flat on your face or flat on your back. And that's what has happened to the liberals. And again, the liberals don't want to take that L with dignity. They're going to keep marching. They're going to keep destroying property. And every time they destroy something, if they're arrested, they should be made to not only pay for what they destroy, they should be made to clean it up and rebuild it. Because they're destroying property that's not theirs because they have tantrums. And this is what liberals do. And Donald Trump is going to continue to put executive orders out. And if I'm a liberal in this country, I would be very worried. Because your policies that were enacted from the great society of Lyndon B. Johnson, oh, they're going to slowly roll the one of four years. And if Donald Trump gets his way and he does what he says he's going to do, it may be a long time for you liberals to ever get in power. Because the stock market is starting to take shape. And I can tell you, Ford is going to build a plant here. Carrier stayed here. And you have to understand, too, about Donald Trump. And this is what liberals don't understand. Donald Trump is an outsider. He's not an establishment Republican or Democrat. So he knows how to make deals with other countries. He knows how to talk trade. Now, you don't have to like his attitude. But you need to respect the office of the presidency. And I know there were Republicans that didn't respect the office of President Obama. But President Obama continued to keep this country down, especially African Americans. And if you look at all the liberals who are running the country and your big cities, what do you have? You have poverty. If you don't believe me, you go see Chicago, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Detroit, Newark, New Jersey, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Houston, every big city. So when the liberals begin to understand that their policies don't work, they're going to have to come up with a different philosophy. And one of the areas that needs to be contained is college education, because this is where the liberals are getting their philosophy from. They're getting it from college. And I've never objected to going to college. I went to college. But at the end of the day, the liberals are afraid of Donald Trump because, number one, he's an alpha male. And this is what the women didn't like. This is why they're calling him a misogynist, a sexist, because he's going to be a man. And he's going to represent what a man is supposed to be. And a number of women today 
they like effeminate men. They don't like alpha males. Donald Trump is an alpha male. So he's a threat to the feminists. Donald Trump likes business. So he's a threat to the government because he wants smaller government. He doesn't want to be paying for big bloated agencies, over regulation, health care bill, nobody read it, premiums are high. And if you look at all these issues that we've been talking about over the last four or five elections, Americans see higher prices and lower wages. And that's the reason why Donald Trump is in power and the liberals are running scared. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show for this evening, Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. You can tune into the 401 Talk Zone radio show every Monday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call the number is 215-383-5785. If you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now on this channel, I do not engage in any controversial or social or emotional or debatable issues, nor do I participate in drama or unnecessary bickering. On this channel, I talk about business, education, careers, and politics. And my job is to educate you as the audience to understand how the real world works. Because you must apply the concepts to make good decisions so you don't fail. And if you do fail, you know how to pick yourself back up and keep everything moving. Because you have to understand, keep everything right here at the 401 Talk Soul Radio Show realistic but positive because knowledge is power. And if you have a business or a topic that you would like for me to discuss on Blog Talk Radio or YouTube, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, please leave it in the comment section under the video. But make sure that your comments are pithy. No bloviating or pettifogging or filibustering if you wish to apply. That's it for this video. Till next time. My name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other and have a wonderful and blessed night. Good night.